The Siglas Paveras also known as Marcus is a proto-writing system that has been used by the local community of Povoa de Varzim in Portugal for many generations. The Siglas were primarily used as a signature for family coat of arms in order to mark family belongings. The symbols were normally written using a razor on wood, but painting on boats and beach sheds was also a common practice. The purpose of the Siglas was to record history and thus they have been ascribed as comprising Povoa's writing system. However, the siglas do not record sounds or specific words, and so are not considered true writing. The reason for their prominence has been ascertained to be due to a common ignorance of the Latin alphabet among the local population. Topic. Types Topic. Lixa Filgueras argued that there are two types of symbols, distinguished by their use, the marcus marks and siglas. The marks served as a way to register ownership and thus were commonly present. The siglas, on the other hand, were used for magical and religious concerns. The siglas, being symbols of a mythical character, were thus rarer both in their ancient and newer forms. <laughs> Family marks Siglas Paveras have been used for family coat of arms since time immemorial by Povoa de Varzim community. Using these symbols, personal and fishing belongings were distinctly marked and thus a form of property registration. The Marca Briseo blazon mark of a family was known within the entire Povoa de Varzim community and children were recognized by counting the number of piquets similar to a traces within their marks. The usefulness of this system is noticed by its usage amongst merchants in their books of credit, and the siglas were read as we today read a name written in the Latin alphabet. Currency values were symbolized by rings and traces, drawn after the mark of an individual. Nevertheless, it was on the tombs of the dead that the marks acquired a sense of personal significance. It became common and accepted to have one's mark carved onto one's tombstone. According to a former port authority of Lakesos, the Count of Vilas Boas, an individual stole a compass in Povoa de Varzim and tried to sell it in Matosinos, but he was unaware that the recorded drawings in the cover indicated the owner's name and thus the first person whom he approached, a woman from Povoa de Varzim, managed to recognize the mark immediately. Summoning other fishermen, who also recognized the mark, the thief was apprehended and submitted to the port authority. Inheritance The siglas are hereditary emblems much like tomgas or hausmarken, transmitted by inheritance from fathers to sons. These have unique symbolism and only the heirs are allowed to use them. The siglas were not simply invented, but passed on through generations. The base family sigla was passed from the father to the youngest son. In Povoa de Varzim's tradition, the heir of the family is the youngest son. While the other children received the sigla with a trace, the peak. Thus, the eldest son would have one peak, the second two and so on, so that the younger son that would have the original sigla, inheriting the same symbol as his father. Analyses were made to check if families have actually used the same symbols throughout generations, due to some supposed inconsistencies within some families. It became apparent that the inconsistencies had historical or genealogical motivations, and that these symbols were inherited through generations and preserved as part of Pavoa's local traditions. Hundreds of different marks were studied leading to 84 different original families. Magical religious marks Topic. Topic. Chapels in beaches and hills Topic. Useful places for the study of Siglas Paveras are the religious temples located not only in the city and its rural area, but also in all the northwest of the Iberian Peninsula, especially in the Minho region in Portugal and in Galicia. The Paveros, throughout generations, used to make inscriptions in the doors of chapels close to beaches or hills as a journey mark or as campaign promises, promesas de campana. This has been observed in Nossa Senhora da Bananca in Esposendes Beach, and Santa Trega in A Garda Hill, Galicia. The mark inscribed would serve as a marker for the Paveros that would come later indicating either the passage of the inscriber or the attempts to procure good luck from the venerated saint of that place. 
On September 23, 1991 a sculpture honoring Siglas Paveras was inaugurated in the Festival of Santa Trega in northwestern Iberia, as a means to perpetuate the ancient and lost door of the chapel of Santa Trega known to be covered with Siglas Paveras. After the inauguration, an expedition aboard the Lancha Pavera Fe M. Deus Faith in God came from Povoa de Varzim, whose fishermen went up to the Trega and prayed in the chapel dedicated to the patron saint of the hill. The hills close to the coast, by being visible by the sea, have always had an importance in the Paveros sect traditions. Long ago, the fishing class went to this hill to pray to the saint in a ritual with chants attempting to change the winds so that they could return home. Siglas, being used in the same way, can be found in the temples of Sonora da Abadia and São Bento da Porta Aberta, in Terras de Boro, São Torcado, in Guimarães and Sonora da Guia, in Vila do Conde. In the municipality of Povoa de Varzim, these can also be found in the chapel of Santa Cruz in Balasar. Devises <inaudible> 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 The caught fish in a boat's net belonged to its owner, regardless of what position he held within the Lanchao or Sardinero casts. The fish caught was thus marked with the sigla and delivered to the fishing net owner. These fish marks are usually blows made in sigla form in different parts of the fish. The crew of each boat also had a sigla that was used by all the members of the crew. In the case of a worker shifting to another boat, he would have to adopt the sigla of the new boat. These boat marks were known as Devises. The devises are true arms shields, intended for the boat's recognition. Curiously, however, they were different from the boat's owner's mark. One should notice that all the Pavero belongings were marked with his personal mark, except for the boat. This fact seems to indicate that the boats were predominantly subject to magical religious invocations, often adopting a protecting saint for the boat and thus earning a mythical character and also surrounded by protecting symbols. Topic. Marriage marks Topic. The Paveros wrote their sigla in the table of the Mother Church upon marriage, as a way for recording the event. This usage of siglas can still be found in Agrija Matriz of Povoa de Varzim the Mother Church since 1757 and in Agrija da Lapa. A table in the old church of Misericordia that had the function of a mother church until 1757 kept thousands of siglas, the obtainment of which would aid in a deeper study of the siglas paveras, but these were destroyed when the church was demolished. Origins <inaudible> 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 The siglas were first studied by Antonio de Santos Graca in his book Epopia dos Humildes, The Odyssey of the Humble. Published in 1952, the book contains hundreds of siglas and the history and maritime tragedy of Povoa. Other works of his are O Pavero, The Pavero, 1932, A Crenca do Pavero nas Almas Panadas, Pavero Beliefs Regarding Dead Souls, 1933. E. In Scracos Tumulares Poor Siglas, Tomb Inscriptions Using Siglas, 1942. For Santos Graca, the Siglas Paveras were related with the Castro peoples, and the author compared it and other dissimilar modern marks, found in other fishing communities, with the Iberian writing system. But, this thesis did not have sufficient proof. After a visit to the National Misite in Copenhagen, Octavio Lixa Filgueras, by accident, found objects marked with home marks from Funen in Denmark. Moreover, the complex hereditary mark system of Povoa de Varzim was also found in Funen. The sigla's development is at least, partly, attributed to the Norsemen that settled in the town during the 10th century and 11th century. This form of primitive writing developed within the community of Povoa de Varzim was kept due to the practice of endogamy. Also, the similarity with the Scandinavian tradition of using specific Bomarkin homestead marks for signatures and for marking property has also been noted. Each base sigla has a name, normally related with daily objects, but this sigla object association occurred at a later date for both, Povoa de Varzim and the system studied in the Danish town of Funen. The hourglass of Funen was drawn in the same way as the chalice of Povoa de Varzim thus indicating that both are remnants of a later era. Siglas have also been compared to runes, especially in the 1960s when Lixa Filgueras called for further studies on the matter. Comparing only identical Nordic runes Peak, I rune Isaz, ice 
Arpao harpoon T rune tawas tier Mayo Arpao half harpoon L rune logas lake Calix fachado closed chalice D rune de gauze day Cruz cross G rune gifu gift According to Santos Graca, the siglas were inspired by daily objects of Povoa de Varzim residents. Lanchina — Pavero boat port. Lanchina — Pavero boat nose. Mastro e verga — Barco Pavero with hoisted sail. Cois — Barco Pavero an area where women pushed for a la riba. Pedrao — Cruzero of the cemetery of Povoa de Varzim. Grades de doi e tres piques. Gratings agricultural object used in the smoothing of the farm fields after harvest in Gistera, Povoa de Varzim. Cerulo and Mayo Cerulo Cerulo object used by women to make hanks of wool or hemp in Povoa de Varzim. Topic. Current use of siglas Topic. The use of the Latin alphabet to identify boats occurred only very recently in Povoa de Varzim, when comparing with other fishing communities that used some kind of marks. In 1944, in a set of 25 boat marks, only one used the Latin alphabet, F.A. de Francisco Fogatera, that substituted the marks, Lanchina and double of two piquets in cross and cois. In Aver Omar, in a group of 38 boats, eight vessels already used the alphabet and marks. Despite not having the use of previous periods, the single quote single quote Baneros of Barro Norte district still place their family mark in their belonging at the beach, the same occurs in the family's home and the mark is written in the belongings. The Casa dos Pescadores da Povoa de Varzim, the Fisherman Association, still accepts marks as correct forms of signature. Marks are also used to decorate the city, as in pavements. Street plates in the city center of Povoa de Varzim use them to revive the use and as a local identity by placing several marks belonging to traditional Povoan families. Topic references topic topic external links topic families part 1 families part 2 siglas paveras in galicia spain as siglas paveras casa dos paveros rio de janeiro brazil abreviatoras acronimos and siglas siglas paveras camara municipal da povoa de varzim 